I legitimately believed that Shadow Lord wasn't an actual character. There was just so little to go off of, and he just looks like a mundane mid-boss you might fight because he just so happened to be there. Luckily, the Final Fantasy wiki explained everything, but after skimming the entire passage, I now know less than I did before. Shadow Lord has finally received some Ode buffs, so I'll go over the notable ones here as well. Notably, his Trustmaster Reward and Super Trustmaster Reward have been improved. His Trustmaster Reward's attack boost have both improved by 10%, ultimately providing a potential 80% attack boost if you equip both a sword and a helm. His Super Trustmaster Reward has received more attack, and that's literally it. Previously, it was only at 160, if anyone was wondering. Active Abilities True Cross Smash inflicts a 80% defense break, lowers the enemy's dark resistance by 120%, and chains of Boating Shrike. Most of these other abilities aren't very interesting. Anchor Inherited has a nice re-raise, Blood Weapon has a hefty HP regen attach, Spawn Shadow is a complete re-raise buff, but they all kind of pale to True Spell Wall, which can be used twice per battle. It grants your entire team a one turn 95% magic mitigation buff, one of the highest of its kind. And then there's Umbro Orb, which lets Shadow Lord deal dark damage, boosts its dark damage by 20%, and chains of Absolute Mirror of Equity. Passives. He's gained a lot of attack, but some stats to boost it further if he's holding a single weapon. He's also gained significant human and fairy colors, a great boost to his limit burst damage, and a decent boost to his limit burst gauge fill rate. His normal attack's been changed to deal dark damage to chains of Boating Shrike, and fills its limit burst gauge by a small amount. Unfortunately, he's currently missing a triple cast, which is supposed to be here, but it clearly isn't. Hopefully, that'll be fixed soon. Back to look at his limit burst, okay, did that time to change forms. His Brave Shift doesn't have a turn duration, but it does have a two-turn cooldown. Active Abilities True Soma Walk can be used twice per battle. It grants your entire team a one-turn 95% physical mitigation buff, which isn't 100%, so it clearly sucks. Neil Before Me raises his attack by 300%, boosts his limit burst damage by 250%, and lowers his dark resistance by a whopping 120%. Luckily, he's already pretty resistant to dark attacks anyways, so it's not a tremendous penalty. Lighting Blitz deals dark damage that chains of Boating Shrike and boosts his limit burst gauge by 1 6 with each use. Passives. With his Trustmaster Reward or Super Trustmaster Reward equipped, he gains attack and a boost to his limit burst gauge full range. He loses the Chain Cap modifier passive in his base form, but replaces it with a better one, albeit it's contingent that he's dual-wielding first. He's also gained attack plus 500, which is literally 500 attack. This was important enough to warrant a sentence. Finally, he's lost his Guts buff, though overall the great majority is basically the same. Onto his limit burst. It deals big damage. Also, there's a death effect, but that's not going to happen. Let's rank Brave abilities. Raising them just raises their damage, so I'd prioritize Blighting Blitz because it's stronger. Time to make a damage rotation. I'll assume he's got a triple cast. Which he doesn't, at the moment. So do your best to keep up, I guess. On turn 1, cast Umbro Orb and double cast True Cross Smash. On turn 2, activate his Brave Shift. Cast Neil Before Me and double cast Blighting Blitz. Once his limit burst gauge is filled, feel free to cap a chain with it. Otherwise, just triple cast Blighting Blitz. Regardless, on turn 5, switch back to recast his buffs. You may as well do the same thing on the next turn as well, just to take advantage of its buffs throughout his brave shift. From here, switch forms and begin the rotation from there. So how good a Shadow Lord? Right now, he's missing a triple cast in one form, so it's a bit of a heavy penalty. Luckily, his other form still has that triple cast, so it's not like he's completely crippled. Regardless, he's a powerful addition to the Final Fantasy XI cast, capable of capping chains of devastating blows. Admittedly though, he faces heavy competition from Neo Vision units with a similar reliance on their limit burst for big damage, but if you're only thinking about Neo Vision Awakened units, he'll certainly be dependable. His 95% physical and magical mitigation buffs can potentially save your team, but it may not be as easy to play by sight if the enemy catches you at an inopportune time. Say, for example, when you just change forms. It's kinda cool, like hitting your enemy hard when their guard is down in a video game. Except you'd be on the receiving end, so you'd definitely want to avoid that. Thanks for watching, and if you liked this video, leave a like and subscribe. Comment below if you summon Shadow Lord. Also, um, tell me who he is.